Now, she does a good job, all right. It's just that I can't get used to having a woman on the bridge. No offense, Lieutenant. You're different, of course. How about that? Yeah, how'd you like to have her as your own personal yeoman? Well, improving the breed, Doctor. Is that your line? I heard that's more your specialty, Commander. Line included. Blocking freezer unit. Decoding memory banks. I'll try to interpolate. I'm going to ask Dr. Dana to keep you under observation for a while. With almost 100 women on board, you can do better than that, friend Captain. Consider it a challenge. Women professionals do tend to overcompensate. In the future, all female crew members will wear their hair loosely about their shoulders. And use restraint in putting on your makeup. Women, women should not look made up. The uh, imposter had some interesting qualities, wouldn't you say? Human. For advice, Captain. One of the advantages of being a captain, Doctor, is being able to ask for advice without necessarily having to take it. But I think I'll have to award that round to the captain, Helen, if I know the away. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. Worlds may change, galaxies disintegrate, but a woman always remains a woman. And uh, how do you explain them? Oh, <laughs> them. Well, I. Uh... I was thinking about a little cabaret I know on Rigel 2, and uh, there were these two girls in a chorus line there. <laughs> Women? Do you mean that you actually have members of the fairer sex among your crew? Oh, how charming. <laughs> ah, a Nubian prize. Taken on one of your raids of conquest, no doubt, Captain? No doubt. Was Cestus III an intrusion on their space? It may well be possible, Doctor. We know very little about that section of the galaxy. Then we could be on the wrong. Good morning, Captain. Good morning, Captain. A woman? Oh. Snap out of it. Start acting like men. Without freedom of choice, there is no creativity. Without creativity, there is no life. The body dies. The fault is yours. Are you aiding the body or are you destroying it? I am not programmed to answer that question. Tyranny, sir? Or an attempt to unify humanity? Unify, sir? Like a team of animals under one whip? Planet number five there is habitable. Although a bit savage, somewhat inhospitable. But no more than Australia's Botany Bay colony was at the beginning. Those men went on to tame a continent, Mr. Khan. I've never understood the female capacity to avoid a direct answer to any question. Captain, I implore you never to do such a thing again. Why? Are you afraid of retribution? Does your personal freedom mean so little to you? How little you understand us, Captain. All I understand is that you apparently don't have a backbone to stand up and fight and protect the ones you love. My friend is obviously Chinese. If you're a bum, if you can't break off with a booze or whatever it is that makes you a bad risk, then get out. 
That unit is defective. Its thinking is chaotic. Absorbing it unsettled me. That unit is a woman. A mass of conflicting impulses. You learn to build for yourselves, think for yourselves, work for yourselves, and what you create is yours. That's what we call freedom. You'll like it a lot. Harry Mudd programmed you? Yes, my lord. That unprincipled, evil-minded, lecherous kulak Harry Mudd programmed you? Yes, my lord. This place is even better than Leningrad. And you will be happy and controlled. I've been good at my job. But I've never been loved. Never. What kind of life is that? Now you listen to me, young woman. I'll touch you in any way or manner that my professional judgment indicates. Don't forget the explosion that threw Scotty against a buckhead was caused by a woman. Women are more easily and more deeply terrified. Love is the most important thing on earth, especially to a man and a woman. And I, too, am looking forward to a nice period of rest on some lovely planet. I'm still looking forward to a nice period of rest and relaxation on some lovely planet. Come. We will speak of it. And if the Klingons give their side even more, and we arm our side with exactly that much more. A balance of power. We, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. Ordain and establish this constitution. There are certain things men must do to remain men. Your computer would take that away. For this evening, I was told I am your slave. Command me. Don't you understand? It's not the sun up in the sky. It's the son of God. Take me to the one in charge. I wish to speak to him. I'm sure you noticed the delight aspect of this place. Yes, I certainly did notice those delightful aspects. Miromani, if you could choose, would you choose me? understand why they let you go with Carlos. Hey, Captain. The male population of the Federation. Didn't someone try and talk you out of it? How can one so beautiful condemn herself to look upon ugliness the rest of her life? Will we allow it, gentlemen? Certainly not. Thank you. And it goes on and on. The good old game of war, pawn against pawn. Stopping the bad guys. While well, somewhere, some thing sits back and laughs and starts it all over again. Alexander, where I come from, size, shape, or color makes no difference.
Everything that is truest and best at all species of beings has been revealed by you. Those are the qualities that make a civilization worthy to survive. I did not give you permission to leave. I didn't ask for any. You're an uncivilized savage, a vicious child in a woman's body, an arrogant monster. Mr. Spark, the women on your planet are logical. That's the only planet in this galaxy that can make that claim. If I touch you again, your glory, it'll be to administer an ancient Earth custom called a spanking, a form of punishment administered to spoiled brats. Captain, that ancient Earth custom called spanking, what is it? It's, um... It's, uh... We'll talk about it later. I am the most beautiful woman on this planet. You're the only woman on this planet, you stupid cow. The birth rate continued to rise and the population grew until now Gideon is encased in a living mass who can find no rest, no peace, no joy. Severin, don't! You'll kill yourself! Don't bite into that! Stop! What a charming negress. Oh, forgive me, my dear. I know that in my time, some use that term as a description of property. But why should I object to that term, sir? You see, in our century, We've learned not to fear words.